guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So for today's video, I have been reviewing two very cult Instagram products of the moment. The first one is the Wild Deodorant and the second one is the Estrid Razor. This video is not sponsored at all. I bought them both with my own money and I just wanted to see if they were worth the hype. They both have pretty good environmental aspects to them. Um, so I just thought they'd be good products. And so I'll let you guys carry on watching the video and show you what I thought of them. So I'm gonna unbox them first. They both arrived pretty quickly, like three, three days I'd say, three or four days. When you open up Wild, it comes up with a few of these little pamphlets that kind of give you codes off things. And it looks very aesthetically pleasing inside when you open it up. I went for three different scents. This is like the basic starter pack that I think is most popular. And I also went for the copper tube, which at first I thought I don't like how lightweight it is, but actually if you're traveling, you don't want it to be really heavy. So I really like that it's nice and light. And I guess the, once the pod is in it, it'll probably be a bit heavier. So this is what the refills look like. I went for bergamot, rituals, rose and orange as scents. Wanted to try different ones out, see which ones I liked. And they all smell really nice. I thought they'd be really strong and overpowering, but they're really nice and subtle. And apparently you can compost these little plastic bits once it's finished. So that is also really great. I think today I'm gonna go with orange zest and I'm gonna pop this in and see how easy it is to do. So you just pinch the side buttons and this pops out like this. And then it looks like you just put the refill in here and pop the top back on. There we go. That feels nice and hefty now. That's how I imagined it to feel. And then the deodorant is in the top. And I guess you, yeah, twist with this bit. Hoo -hoo -hoo. How exciting. That's the deodorant I'm gonna be trying out for a while. I usually use the salt of the earth deodorant, which is also a natural deodorant, but I liked that this one has refills, whereas the salt of the earth one, you have to just throw everything away and start again. So yeah, we shall see how I get on with this one. And then moving on to Estrid, um, in a package like this. So this is what's inside. I ordered the travel case because I go swimming quite a lot, so I thought it might be handy to have that. And then in another little pouch. Let me just open up the travel case first. Biodegradable and compostable, so that's good. I love silicone products, I find them so satisfying. <laughs> but this does actually have a mark on it already, I don't know if that will come off with just some water, but that's annoying. And the top just flaps open. <laughs> So in that packet, there is a little bit about the razor and everything, care instructions. And then you get the razor, which looks like this, and it's really nice and weighted. I don't actually have anything that has been this heavy to shave my legs with before, and I'm quite excited because I think a lot of men's razors are weighted and they're meant to be better for sensitive skin and everything, so I'm excited to try this out. The only thing I'm worried about initially is the moisture blades because of my sensitive skin, it sometimes reacts to moisture blades like this. And then you get one refill with the starter pack and the holder. So we'll give that a go in the bathroom. So I'm gonna go and have a shower now and see how I get on with both of these. And see if it stays, nope. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> Maybe this tile is too bumpy. So this did not stick to my tiles, but it did stick really well to my mirror. But my mirror is all the way over the other side of the room. Um, so I don't know where to put this now. <laughs> So very first impressions of both are actually really good. It felt a bit weird using the razor at first because it's so much heavier than I'm used to. And I'm used to ones without moisture blades, so it felt a bit weird having 
those on there. Seems to have given a nice close shave and the deodorant went on nicely, smells nice. I actually have a date tonight so that will be a very good test of the deodorant. <laughs> First date is always a bit nerve-wracking so I'm sure I'll be a little bit sweaty um, but that'll be a good test for the wild deodorant. So yeah I'll catch back up with you guys when I've been trying out the products for a few days. So it's been two weeks now since I started using the products. I know this clip looks very similar to the start of the video but that's because I forgot to do an introduction. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my favourite out of the two which is the Wild Deodorant. This for me is definitely worth the money. I paid £20 for this because I used one of my friend's discount codes because she'd already bought it. And I guess the £20 can be divided into three, so you get three separate deodorants in that aspect. And natural deodorants are not cheap normally, so I think it's a pretty good buy. Also, it looks so pretty anywhere in my room or in my bathroom. So happy I went with the copper. I was very tempted to go for the turquoise, but I don't think that would have gone with any of my <laughs> surroundings the copper just sort of fades into the background nicely and I haven't really noticed a scent with this one I've been using the orange zest and I can't really smell anything um, so the scents aren't very strong which is good I guess but I, it would have been nice to have some sort of scent um, but yeah very subtle scents which is quite nice to be honest I'm used to no scent at all so it's an easy transition for me from my old natural deodorant. I pretty much only have good things to say about this. The one thing I did notice yesterday actually, I was taking some pictures um, for a Makeup Monday and I had my arms slightly raised and I had like a tank top on and it had like rolled some little bits of white, like it had rolled into some little strips. Um, but I guess any deodorant could do that, that's a roll on. Um, so that's the only thing I noticed, but if you're aware of that, then I guess you can make sure you <laughs> rub in your deodorant a bit, or I don't really know how to prevent that. So I would definitely say the hype is worth it for this product. I will leave it linked down below, and I will leave my discount code if I have one. I think I probably do from my purchase, um, and hopefully it can be used more than once um, for you guys, So because the 20% off does really help with this product because it is quite expensive. And then moving on to the Estrid razor, I haven't travelled with this, I just put it in the travel case for now, um, but I'm pretty impressed on the whole with this razor to be honest. Not too many negatives, the only major negative that really annoys me is the fact that this little thing does not stay anywhere in my bathroom except on the mirror, which is not very accessible to me when I'm showering. So that's a shame that this can't be stuck anywhere in my bathroom, but I think that's just because I've got textured tiles. The razor itself is really lovely. It gives a really nice close shave and doesn't leave my legs super itchy, which some razors can do because they're just so drying. But the moisture blade really helps with this, I think. The only place I don't love shaving as much with this is my bikini line. And I find it doesn't get the closest shave there. But yeah, it seems to be a pretty good razor. I think I spent about £13 for this and this. Um, and it comes with one refill. So that's not too bad compared to other um, razors on the market in boots and things because um, they can be pretty expensive. <laughs> and obviously this bit is metal, so it's nice and weighted when you're shaving, and it's just nice to not have a little plastic whilst you're shaving. So yeah, I would recommend this product. The other problem is they do like a subscription process, so when you buy this, you have to almost sign up for the subscription, which is, you don't have to do that on the wild deodorant, you can just buy whenever. But this one I have to put in my diary when it's going to renew because then I will probably cancel it um, because I don't think, well I might need refills by then but probably won't. So just be aware of that if you are buying an Estrid razor that they will probably send you a load more as soon as they can. <laughs> Overall I do really like both products but again if you were to spend the money on one thing I would probably get the natural deodorant. They've both got great environmental aspects to them, I love how conscious they are when they're thinking about the environment and it's also nice to not have to sort of rush to boots when you're running out of your favourite deodorant or your favourite razor. 
um, you can just buy it online and it comes whenever so that aspect is also really handy let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried these out and if you have which color you have because <laughs> I'd love to know I will leave all the links to everything I've talked about in the video and yeah I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video bye